Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, November 17th, and I'm Neha Paramala with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The first musical of the year, Shrek, starts tonight. WTV's Maddie Daddario has the details. It's the first performance of the year for the theater department, but it's much more than just the theater production, as art students, tech theater, and even the school's orchestra have contributed. This is actually the first year to have a student pit orchestra for a musical. I think it's an incredible experience for student musicians to play for the actual musical process. If we have students on stage who are doing all the professional roles, students backstage doing props and set and students doing microphones and lights, then we should have student musicians. So this is the first chance we've had to do that. You can catch the show tonight, Thursday at 7 p.m., tomorrow at 7 p.m., or Saturday at either 2 p.m. or 7 p.m. I'm Maddie Daddario reporting for Wingspan TV. The Table Tennis Club didn't make the cut this year, but there's an alternative to fill the void. WTV's Davis O'Brien has more. A backyard game has found a new home inside the nest as the badminton club is one of the newest clubs on campus. Badminton is one of the top 10 sports in six countries, including the U.S., with a combined population of more than 1,897,600,000 players. Due to a lack of sponsorship, the Table Tennis Club is no longer here on campus. If it wasn't for a student, badminton club would have the same fate. There are around 30 members and new people are always welcome. It is a time to meet other players and have a good time playing badminton. The club meets every other Wednesday in the hallway next to the auxiliary gym. This is Davis O'Brien reporting for Wingspan TV. As their exams are getting closer, students are thinking of many ways to prepare for their future SAT and ACT tests. WTV's Jennifer Hernandez has the story. For some students, getting ready for the SAT and ACT begins long before their junior year. In addition to the PSAT, the school provides opportunities for students to prepare for future tests, including extra classes such as practice tests and strategy sessions held at Frisco High School. But some students are also looking at other options to prepare such as KD College Prep and A to Z College Prep. Rabita Remen, who attends classes at Katy College Prep, shares how PSAT prep helps students. Well, the SAT and ACT are both really important for how colleges will look at you and accept you. So basically, if you do well on your ACT and ACT, it'll help you a lot with your future college. These preparations that students are taking part in are going to help them in future tests. Reporting for WTV, I'm Jennifer Hernandez. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Students will not be able to park in the teacher parking lot by the tennis courts anymore until after 2.30 p.m. The entire east side of the school is open for parking. The annual food drive started last Monday. The school is collecting non-perishable cans of food and packs of ramen noodles until Friday. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Neha Paramala for WTV.